Welcome back to our Open SAP course, SAP Business by Design, Supply Chain Management, Unit 4 of Week 5. As kind of follow-up of our last unit, first we will continue with analytics. This means that we will focus on reports in the area of production, inbound and outbound logistics in regards of performance figures. Finally, we will do a quick excourse to material classification options for country border crossing trades. As we have already discussed analytics in Unit 3, I only want to recap four highlights. First, analytics is fully integrated to support and monitor business processes, helping you to make informed decisions. Second, analytics data is real-time. Third, the provided analytics data for a user is access context sensitive. And fourth, the work center business analytics provides a wide range of capabilities. For instance, to create and build new data sources and customized reports as well as key performance indicators. After finishing a production lot, which was planned with available master data information we saw in Unit 2 of this week, one question might came up. How accurate was this production planning compared to the confirmed actuals in regards of times? An answer to this can be provided with the report production processing time, as it lists the times recorded for completion of production lots or operations. It contains data such as setup times, run times and total processing times. Let's switch back to our by design system. We go to the work center production control. report area and the production processing times. Start the report and now we have one production order or production lot with the planned processing times, in this case 19 minutes, and the actual processing time with 32 minutes. So there is a deviation. Also for the setup time, which was planned with 8 minutes, and uh, with five minutes, sorry, and with eight minutes at the end. Now let's go back to the slides. If the focus is not only on quantities and times, but also on costs, then we need to move to a finance-related finance area. For instance, for instance, we can go to the work center inventory valuation. Do we have differences between the planned costs, which were calculated from the current master data values, to the actuals, which were confirmed for a period? For this, the report production variances shows periodic and total variances between the valuated goods receipt and actual production costs. Prerequisites to ensure that the report displays full and accurate business data are the excuse, execute a, of a goods issue and goods received invoice run and a work in process clearing run. You can use the report production variances to analyze the costs incurred, for example, on a specific production lot or all production lots for a material. You can also analyze differences to take corrective actions in order to reduce potential variances. To analyze more details on this topic, the report production variance details can be used on top. It shows a breakdown of total variances between the standard cost and the actual production costs by variance category. This makes it easier 
to look to variances between standard compared to actuals by material or production lot. What are the planned quantities and scheduled dates for a production request compared to actual confirmed records? To answer this question, the report Production Request Fulfillment provides the planned quantities and dates for a production request and the actual confirmed quantities and dates recorded. So, now we are again in a role of production controlling to analyze if there are differences between what we have planned and scheduled compared to the actuals confirmed. Having these facts available, details can be discussed and improvements can be worked out, if needed. Moving over from supply chain management to purchasing, which is well known as Supplier Relationship Management, SRM. Delivery reliability of a supplier is an important KPI to analyze whether the supplier kept to the delivery schedule and quantities. So, this report shows an analysis of purchase order delivery dates and quantities by suppliers. To answer questions like, are there any differences between purchased and received goods? Are there any difference between agreed and confirmed delivery dates? Or are there any diff improvements potentials? For those, the delivery reliability report is an informative resource. Switching back to the system. Going to our work center overview. Go to purchase request in orders. report area and go to our standard report delivery reliability. I have prepared a selection and a view for our supplier Omega and here we can see that there was a purchase order with a ordered quantity of 20 and a delivery quantity only 18 pieces. So now you can start to analyze. Switching back to the next report which is monitoring suppliers and this is a pretty good report to show the dependency on suppliers for certain product categories. The spend per supplier and the supplier distribution per country over a certain time period. So, who are my key suppliers? Is there a critical supplier dependency in regards of a key product category or with the net amount volume, which has been spent? Is there a potential purchase volume as space for future negotiations? For example, to combine it over different companies. These questions can be answered with the mentioned report monitoring suppliers. Let's look at the system. Going back to the work center overview, selecting supplier base, also in the report area, we can find the standard reports which are provided in this area. And now we go to monitoring suppliers. Start the report and he here we can see the standard view supplier dependent dependency per product category and we see here different product categories and see here the number of suppliers, the products and the net amount. You can use also other provided views like spend per supplier. So we have a list of suppliers and the net amount and also maybe the view suppliers per country which, which lists all countries of the different suppliers. Let's go back to the slides. The report price reliability in purchasing is a further opportunity to analyze and, if necessary, to react and adjust. 
The price reliability report shows a comparison of all products purchased from one or more selected suppliers and displays the deviation between the purchase order price and the invoiced price. For each product of a selected supplier or a group of suppliers, the report calculates an average purchase order price and an average invoice price for a product and compares these prices over a specified period. This report displays the price deviation as an absolute value as, and as a percentage. It has two pre-delivered views, price reliability per supplier or suppliers and price reliability per product. After a look to inbound pur purchasing and to production, now the last part of this analytic related unit is the outbound area. How accurate are outbound deliveries compared to confirmed and promised sales order quantities? Have we delivered the outbound shipments on time? For these, the delivery performance report provides a multi-level investigation of which performance your company has provided in regards of correct and on-time deliveries. It is only relevant for companies which have a transport relationship with customers. If they just provide services or cash sales, then the report is not relevant. The data on which the delivery will reach its destination is calculated from the shipment date plus the shipping duration maintained in the corresponding transport lane. We are almost at the end of the unit. I would like to leave analytics for now and give you some information on the topics Intrastat, which is European Union related, and exports. SAP Business by Design provides the basis for both. First, to create or upload a community commodity catalog, which is issued by statistical authorities, and then doing a material classification means to assign materials to maintained commodity codes. You can access the material classification view from one of the following work centers. Interested work center, export work center, and from the product data work center. The Interested business topic allows you to submit periodical declarations on the movement of goods to the statistical authority authorities of the company located country. Includes both dispatches and arrivals between member states of the EU. The statistical authorities use these provided data to compile intra-community trade statistics, thus the term Interstat. Respondents in EU member states can directly submit Interstat declarations to the statistical authorities of their country. SAP Business by Design supports Interstat declaration for Germany, Great Britain, Austria, France and others. The Interstat declaration items can be downloaded in Microsoft Excel format. So, data from various EU border transaction documents are pushed into Interstat and are shown in the Interstat item worklist. This is a good starting point for every EU country-based company. In the, in the Interstat item worklist, you can view all the relevant arrival and dispatch documents and group them accordingly, doing adjustments and proceed further according to available country specifics. For instance, to download the available file. We are at the end of Unit 4 and this is a quick recap. We saw analytical reports in production to check recorded processing times for production lots and which gave the possibility to analyze variances between plan and actuals. Besides this, we introduced supplier relationship management reports with regards to delivery and price reliability as well as with a focus on supplier monitoring. And with the outbound delivery performance, we touched upon a prominent report in customer relationship management. 
And finally, I have informed you about the possibilities of material classification in regards of foreign trade. Once again, thank you for your attendance and see you soon in the final unit.